When you connect an external storage to the USB port of your router, you can basically use it in three different ways. First usage is as a network share to store and backup files, and this is the most common usage, and also you can use it as a media server and as an FTP server. In this video, I want to show you how you can use it as a network share to store and backup files. If you want me to cover the other two usages too, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Step 1. Make sure the storage you use is formatted with NTFS or FAT32 and connected to your router's USB port. Step 2. Open a web browser and log in to your router's admin page using the IP address of the router. If you don't know the IP address, open a command prompt and then type ipconfig and look under default gateway. This would be the address of the router. So put it here and hit enter. Put the password for the admin of your router and hit enter. Hover over settings and click USB sharing. Enable Windows file sharing. Click on save. Wait for the router to save the configuration. And then click on OK. Once Windows file sharing is enabled, you need to create a user to give it access to this share. So click on user and then click on create user and under username put the name you want. I'm gonna put KST for knowledge sharing tech and for password I'm gonna put a strong password. Of course choose the password you want. Under Samba make sure that it is enabled and you have two options still. Under permission here if you want to give the user read-only permission, keep it as it is, but because in this video I'm going to show you how you can back up your files and how you can write and delete files also, I'm going to choose read and write. And for the folder here, you can choose either to give the user access to the root folder and everything under the root folder, or you can choose to give him access only to a subfolder. If you want to give this user access only to a subfolder, Click on Browse and then choose a subfolder. So here I'm going to leave it as root and then simply click on OK and then click on Save to save the user. It shouldn't take long. And then click on OK. So now we have the user and we have the share that is enabled. To use it in Windows, open Explorer and then in the address bar here, put backslash backslash and the IP of your router. So here it is 192.168.0.1 and hit enter. The first time you do this, it will ask you for the username. So here you put the user that we just created. So in my case, it is KST and then put the password. And here, make sure you click on remember my credentials so you don't have to enter this user and password each time you want to use the drive. And then click on OK. And you see here, this is the drive. We see here two shares, simply because I have two partitions on this drive. But usually you're going to see only one share. So if I double click on it here, I'm going to see everything in it. Now you can use it here as a network share, but you cannot use it as a backup if you don't map a network drive. So to do this, right click on it and then click Map Network Drive and under Drive here, choose the drive you want. I'm going to keep it on Z and it's very important to put Reconnect at Sign In so that Windows will always reconnect to this drive each time you sign in and this way you can use it in your backup. So click on Reconnect at Sign In and then click on Finish. And you see here, under this PC, now you see it as any other drive you have on your PC. If you double click on it, you can use it. 
and you can create a new folder let's say and delete the folder so you can use it as any drive now to use it as a backup drive you need to configure it in backup I have a complete video that shows you how to configure backup in Windows 10 you can check this video in the description below but for now I'm gonna show you quickly how you can select this drive as a backup drive so launch settings click on the window click settings and then here under update and security click on it and click backup and here you see add a drive click add a drive and Windows will search all the drives so it will detect the drives that are hooked to your PC and it will also detect the network drives so here it detected the drive that is connected to our router so just simply select it and here you have it selected as a backup drive in Windows and that was all I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did Please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.